Hello and what is up guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to another episode of the game Gravel on PC. So in the last episode, we unlocked this Speed Cross Master episode. So now we're going to challenge him take and see if we can take him down. And mix it with the madness of a driving ace. If you haven't reached James Watanabe, you definitely came very close. His technique has led him to become the new Speed Cross Master and he is now one of the fastest drivers in the group. Underestimating him is a mistake that no one should make. Should be a fairly easy win, I'm thinking. Should be a fairly easy win. I don't mean that to sound like cocky or anything, but I, it just seems like it should be a fairly easy win to me. These boss battles have not been that hard. They genuinely have not been that hard. So, first one, let's see, Latvia. Alright, what are we going to race him in? Mini Countryman RX, uh, Volkswagen Beetle Rally, well, RX Rallycross. Um, I really, really want this Polo Rallycross. Uh, let's see, the Fiesta ST and then his Subaru. So, really, our best bet, well, I haven't driven the Beetle yet. I really want to drive the Beetle. I, ooh, we could do Scott Parker's uh, Beetle livery. Or we could do this green livery. I like the green one better. I think it looks good on this car. I know there may be some people that really disagree with that, but I like it, so... You need a that's that. Part to be a driver, but to win on speed cross tracks, you need enormous determination. James enormous determination, eh? Let's see what we've got, then. So much rain. So much rain in all of these episodes. Perfect timing on the launch. Oh, steal the inside from him right off the bat. Oh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of wheeling. These cars slide around so easily. It's fun though. Despite being all-wheel drive, they do love power oversteer. They definitely have a rear-wheel drive bias. God, we are just leaving him. Wow, we are just leaving him. Holy crap. Power through, power through, power through. Oh, that's a bit of a hit. Ooh. Okay, I was, I was freaking out. I was like, which way do I go? Down a gear. Stick with the line, though. Just stick with the line and press on. This is where we put a lot of distance on him. Use that power oversteer to your advantage. There we go. This little beetle's doing work, man. I have some, like crazy respect for it. It's awesome. Dude, we're already out of the hairpin before he's even into it. That's that's not good for his end of the story. Up and over the jump. Oh crap, that's that 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 was overdone. I pulled the e-brake because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna use the e-brake and like, you know, just quickly uh, pull out of this corner. Not nah, his and the game was like, not so fast. Tried to transition back there and it it, it kind of worked, but not the way I was hoping. Come on! Keep on the power, keep on the power. If you want to drift, you really you really don't need to use the e-brake. You can use the regular brakes um, and just kind of, like, slam onto them hard and then trail off, and the car will rotate. Actually, rotate really quickly. Slowly and smoothly, and then fire out. Oh! Oh, God. That was a big bounce off that wall. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's the finish on the last lap. That's going to be a win and the easy win for us. If that's an indicator of how the rest of these races are going to go, bring them on because, damn, we can First destroy them. Now it's time to Just hoping for something that's not rain. All right, so let's see. Next up for us is going to be Vegas. 
Honestly, I think I'm going to run the beetle again. We'll run the other livery this time, but I really like how that beetle handles. I really like the way, like, it's just very, like, flickable and tossable. You can get it, like, you can get the back end out super easy, but it's also got a crap ton of grip. The second will leave you literally breath. We'll skip that for now. Oh, oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. Uh, I'm beating him under braking and stealing the inside from him. I did not want to slam into his door, though. Oh, for God's sake. All right. Leave the walls alone, please. Leave the walls alone. Oh, this is a big jump. This is going to be fun. Woo. Yeah, it's small, tight tracks like this where the e-brake can actually be put to use. I love it. Oh, God, that's tighter than I expected. Come on. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, wanted to see what the interior view was like. It's, oh, it's not bad. You can actually see him working the shifter, too. Well, once we get to a part of the track where... Yep. Ooh, no walls, please. These cars definitely, like, the Rallycross cars have a weird push to them if you stay on the throttle. Which, basically, they... Oh, there we go. They want you to basically flick them in off throttle and then... Basically, they want you to flick them in off throttle, then get back on the throttle and power out. It's a weird system to get used to, but once you're used to it, you can just rip in these little things. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh, a little iffy back there. Not bad. Oh, carry that all the way through. No reason not to. Cause there are that's actually that's every time I do that jump I'm like damn that jump is bigger than I is always bigger than I expect it to be power through oh there we go that is how you rip a handbrake turn oh my god that is how you rip a handbrake turn yes and a little bit of a I, I didn't mean to like do a wall bounce across the line but it just kind of ended up if happening one thing I've learned from off-road masters it's that thinking you've won before the finish line is an error you shouldn't make there's some truth to that all right one more and he will be taken down like completely all right let's see San Luis objective win the race this looks like a fun track this looks like I'm gonna go back again with the bug we're going to go with the green livery again because I really liked it. This track looks like it's going to be just... Yeah, it looks like an all-dirt, really fun slide-around, uh, like, just tight dirt track. Amongst the favorites, he has already inflicted two... Go, go, go! This thing is faster than that across the... Or, like, off the line, that's for sure. Big sweeper that tightens a crap ton at the end. Wow, okay. Was not ready for that. Goodbye. Oh, he's like, what's up? They're just power out of it. Oh, that, ooh. Ooh. That's not terrible. Just, like, banging the crap out of the rev limiter in, in second. Then shifting to third and firing out onto the straight. This sweeper is incredibly deceptive. Oh, but if you get it right. Oh, that's that feels great. And then you can carry that drift through. And, like, you can carry that drift through after the jump. 
Little bit of going back down to first, but sometimes you have to, sometimes you just have to do that. First is a usable gear too, seriously. Not bad. Oh, transition on the e-brake back to the other side. Laying on it in second gear, then back to third, up to fourth. Just, oh, dude, this track is fun. This track has such a good flow to it. Balancing it through here. Taking out a couple of things, but not really too concerned about them, to be fair. There we go. There we go. Oh, not, ew, didn't mean to do that. There she goes. That's not terrible. Whoa. Okay. Thought I could get closer to that than I actually did. Hmm. Or, well. Damn. Okay. Damn, Mr. Sloppy. All right. Let's fix this up here. Honestly, I probably could be in third for that whole section, but... And it doesn't matter because we, you know, we won still, but... That last lap got really sloppy. I mean, especially Against considering their uh, considering the fact that the laps up to that were really good. Was not an accident. Fans watching. But nonetheless, okay, level 20. Oh, I didn't even stop to see what I unlocked. I should probably do that. All right, so, oh, well, I know what I unlocked. I got his car. So that's going to be that done. And then let's see. Up next is episode... Epi wait... Episode, episode 7, episode 8, episodio 9. What? What? <laughs> what is this? Okay. Alaska, Alaska, Memorial Coliseum, and a championship. Okay, so that's going to be something that we will start doing in the next episode. Let's see. Hmm. These are both checkpoint races. This is... Uh, B-Class Extreme Racing, so... Oh, I love these cars. I love these cars. I gotta do this race to finish this off. What about, like, what's the other one? Cross Country A. That's, like, bigger... Yeah, that's, like, bigger trucks and stuff like that. Bigger trucks and SUVs. This is Trophy Truck, and this is C Extreme Racing. So, oh, dude. When do we get the, uh, the Fiat 124? 27. We've almost got the 03 Impreza. Oh, dude, we've almost got that car. Once we get that thing, dude, it's going to be... Eh, that thing's going to be a blast. All right, so let's get this race done and out of the way. I think I want to run it in the 959, but I haven't driven the 911 RS. Well, no, you know what I haven't driven? The Stratus. Oh, that looks... Yeah. Yeah, that looks, that looks good. I do have a soft spot for these cars. They're they're cool looking cars, and they're not exactly something that you see every day. They're huh, they're far from something that you we see every day. We a spectacle worthy of the name, and we've done it. We've organized a race which will leave you breathless. Here will in the it? I love when he says we've Through organized a race that will leave you breathless. I'm like, will it, sir? Time my shift. Okay. Not the best shift time. Oh, oh my God. Well, he's, <laughs> he's out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, we can make that. Coming up on these next three guys. There we go. Top three. Oh, boom. There's first. Okay, I'll have that then. Whoa, that was close. Car kind of just like came right out from under me. Got it back under control, but still. God, we are just blasting through here at incredible speed. Absolutely. Whoa, a little bit of two wheel action. But no, absolutely incredible pace out of this little Stratus. Staying it up the hill. Keep the RPMs up. Keep the RPMs up. Trying to keep it in, a, in, a, in an effective power band. Little bit more through the checkpoint. Already like 70% complete. 
They are so far behind us, it is ridiculous. It is absolutely insane how far behind us they are. Like... <laughs> almost done, almost done with this whole race! I'm gonna wait at the line and see how long it takes them, how far behind us they actually were. 94, 95, almost there. There's the line. We're going to finish this with some style. Well, sort of style. <laughs> A stylistic crash. Let's enjoy this race together. All right, let's see how long. So we did a 152, 157 was the next best time. That's nuts. That is, that is nuts. We got the Duster. This is like a Dacia Duster, um, I guess, cross-country class car. So that is three stars out of 12 available in Around the Pacific. The next one requires 65, and we currently have 58. So that's what we're going to pick up in the next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Gravel. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.